All right, y'all, this week, I wanna to bring together two of our most favorite things right now. That's NFL betting and fantasy football. If you listen to JJ and I, you could probably come up with not only a great starting lineup, but some amazing player props. All right, JJ, what is up? So this week we had my boy Clyde Edwards Hilaire just crushing his yardage prop. We had Hopkins just murking his receiving prop. Who was the most surprising player to you this week? Yeah, I mean, I think it's really close between those two. Uh, I, I would go with DeAndre Hopkins, though, if I were to pick from one of the two. I, I mean, we know he's a special wide receiver. We know that he's ultra talented. We know that he should be able to work in any sort of offense, but he saw a 44% target share uh, in that game against San Francisco. And it's kind of wild because, you know, he's on a new team. They don't have the preseason. Uh, there was sort of some, some contract issues going on. You know, I wasn't expecting that big of a target share right away, let alone against a good San Francisco secondary. You know, whereas with Clyde Edwards Hilaire, the competition there uh, in Kansas City isn't that strong now that Damian Williams opted out. But overall, DeAndre Hopkins, a really, really shocking 44% target share. Which player is now going to be overrated? Yeah, so I'm going to go with Raheem Mostert here. Uh, I, look, I don't mind Raheem Mostert. I think in fantasy football, he's a strong enough RB2. He's in a good offense or what should be a good offense. They should be able to run the ball. Uh, but this San Francisco offense also didn't have very many wide receivers in this game. Healthy wide receivers. You know, Debo Samuel banged up. Brandon Ayuk didn't play. They're, they're rookie who they're hoping, uh, you know, does a lot here in year one. And as a result of that, we saw San Francisco's running backs get a 44% target share in this game, basically the same target share that DeAndre Hopkins did. Um, and Raheem Mostert is not someone, you know, last year we didn't see him utilize that heavily in the receiving game. I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that they didn't have many alternatives in that offense. Uh, and so as a result, they were dumping the ball off and, and giving their running backs a little bit more work as receivers. Uh, so as a result, I think Raheem Mostert, someone who overperformed, I wouldn't be expecting that week in and week out. Okay, so Mostert overrated. What about underrated? I'm going to look at DJ Moore in this new Carolina offense and scheme. Uh, he had a target share that was over 26%. That's very, very strong. And what I love about the Carolina offense is that the defense is terrible. Uh, and so they should throw the ball a whole lot this season. Um, and so with a 26% target share, if DJ Moore is able to maintain that, he's going to have way better lines than what he had in week one, which I think was about a four reception, 54 yard game. Okay, last question. Alpha, if you just the eye test of week one, which team is fool's gold? Yeah, you know, I'm going to go with Jacksonville. Uh, you know, the, the Colts, uh, they they played better than Jacksonville overall here in week one um, to the point where they didn't even punt the football against Jacksonville and they still lost. So it's going to be tough for, for Jacksonville, you know, to, to win those types of games week in and week out. There was a reason why FanDuel Sportsbook had them with the lowest win total of any team entering the, the season. I still think Jacksonville is still like a four or five, maybe six win team this year. That's all I have for this week. Don't forget to set your lineups and let's make some money.